Hey guys, what's up? Another review. This time, Justice League number six. Now, this is the last part of the story arc with their fight with Darkseid, and it's a team completely together and finding out what their strengths are together. Their strengths are together. And this issue is really cool. It starts off really cool with the perspective of this guy trying to protect his family, which I thought was really interesting and really cool. And how he thought he was about to die until the Justice League came. And it's, I thought it was really interesting and just really neat to see that perspective. And got me really excited about this issue. And I really enjoyed this issue, which surprised me. Because a lot of the Justice League issues are, I mean, Jim Lee's doing the penciling and Jeff Johns Ryan. So they've got incredible art. And this book, too, has beautiful art. Especially certain pages in here are just breathtaking. And the dialogue's good, but just League a lot of times just becomes about, you know, this big action sequence, and even though this is the final fight, I feel like there's a lot of character moments in this that's really cool. Um, overall, this issue is very strong. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's very, very strong. It's really cool seeing, uh, like, Wonder Woman in the beginning, how she's uh, kind of the main one fighting, and then... Aquaman getting his moments, Green Lantern protecting people, and really seeing the team just work together very well. Uh, seeing Cyborg kind of save the day as the newest member of the team. And it's all just coming together very nicely. And, of course, Flash towards the end had some really funny moments. But the one thing with this issue that is really cool, and what every D new 52 and DC fan should get it for, is at the end, it finally has the unveil and first real introduction of Pandora. And... For those who don't know, Pandora was uh, the secret woman that was in every single first issue of the New 52, and some of the second issues, that Anne was in Flashpoint. And no one knew much about her, and D DC kind of hinted at what she could be and could have what to do, but this is the first, it could, ah, got tongue tied there. This is the first time where you actually see her talk in a lot of detail about what she does. And she's talking to this other character, and you get hints at what she's there for. And there's one line in particular where they, this guy is accusing her and saying that, how could you rewrite the worlds? Something like that. So basically, hinting at what I believe, you know, and what most believe, that she is the reason for this new 52. And it looks like they will connect this to the old continuity. Even though certain continuities, like Batman's continuity, really hasn't changed much at all. And stuff like that. It's still pointing out that she is a key and is hinting now that she will justice League, be dealing with the Justice League in the future. And I think right now DC's being smart about it because six months into it and now we're just now finally getting to know who she was when we first saw her six months ago. And I really hope they do a slow burn with this and continue to just slowly build this up into a big event. I don't want to go into just another big event, big event, big event. Hopefully they'll build this up right because right now I'm liking this. I haven't been following Justice League a ton but I wanted to get this issue to see how it kind of wraps up and see all this stuff. And I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Of course, there's epic fight moments. And there's two or three panels or one two-page spread. It's just beautiful. And Jim Lee, showing why Jim Lee is probably one of the best pencilers in the industry today. And one of the best overall artists. It's incredible. And just, I know I said already, but breathtaking. Like I said, 8.5 out of 10. The only bad part is because it is a big fight issue, of course there is a lot of just fight moments, but I do feel they are necessary and I know why they're there. And overall, I just really enjoyed this issue. Highly suggest it to anybody out there. If you've been reading this series, you'll love this one. This is a great issue and really is tying stuff together and cool to see just some like one-liners in here that are really funny. Dealing with like Aquaman's necklace and Flash naming the Justice League, and or he didn't name the Justice League, but uh, how they get the name in this New 52. Anyway, really interesting, really good. Uh, I'll see you guys in another review.